Hi, welcome to uh, part two of uh, rectifiers and filters. In the previous uh, video, we have seen the working of half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier. So, in this video, we shall see the working of uh, bridge rectifier and uh, various uh, filters. So, this is a circuit diagram of a bridge rectifier, uh, which consists of uh, four diodes and a load resistor RL. So, this is how uh, a bridge rectifier operates when the input voltage uh, V in is greater than 2 VD on. Matlab, when the input voltage uh, is more than twice the uh, VD on, the D1 and D2 will turn on, the diagonally opposite uh, diodes will turn on. You can see since this is turned on, see now the current is flowing in this uh, dotted uh, line. So it, it flows through D1 and uh, since D4 is off, it can't flow through D4. It uh, chooses a resistance path that is R, which is a lower resistance path compared to D4. Now it is flowing through resistor, a load resistor, and since D2 is on, so it certainly flows through D2 and then it will be uh, completing its uh, path to the source. So during the positive half cycle, when the input voltage is more than twice the VD on, because it has to uh, turn on both uh, D1 and D2, so the input voltage has to be more than two times the cutting voltage of uh, this diode D1 and D2. So naturally, the current flows through uh, resistor from top to bottom. Uh, similarly, see if your vendors, uh, when the input voltage is less than minus VD on, how does the current flow? Since the input voltage is negative, now since this becomes positive and this is negative, now the current flows through this terminal and it flows through this diode uh, which is uh, named as D4. So now this is D4 is on when the input voltage is negative. You can see uh, since uh, this is positive the current is flowing like this and now it is uh, flowing through this line and it flows through D4. It flows through D4 and you can see it's again passing through this resistor R from top to bottom. You can see now uh, this is off. Uh, D2 is off, uh, D3 is on. The diagonal diodes are uh, turned on now. When this is on, now you can see uh, it is flowing through this junction and it goes back to the supply. Interestingly, you can see during uh, the positive half cycle, the current was flowing from top to bottom. Even during the negative half cycle also, the current is flowing from top to bottom through resistor R. So, this results in a output waveform uh, which is uh, during positive half cycle the output is similar to the input but only difference is that output is less than the input by twice the VD on because two diodes have to conduct simultaneously during the negative half cycle again the output voltage is positive it is again uh, less by the output voltage is less by twice the VD on because two diodes have to conduct so let us see the uh, simulation of uh, bridge rectifier using LT spice and try to analyze the working of the circuit. You can see this is the uh, bridge circuit uh, written on LT spice. So we have a source uh, named as V1. So it's a sign source with amplitude 10 and frequency 50 hertz. So we have these four diodes. You can carefully observe. Uh, the input terminal is connected to the junction of D1, D3 and of course uh, the naming of uh, D1, D2, D3 may change as uh, compared to your, uh, the circuit uh, description which is over here. Maybe you can just slightly see this is uh, slightly different. So this is actually D1, D2, D3, D4. So we can just actually go back to simulation and uh, change it the way how it is there in this uh, schematic. So I can do the same thing. This is D1. Let me make this. Uh, D2 so that uh, you can easily understand D2. Now this is actually D4 and uh, this will be D3. Now let us uh, run this simulation. Now I have named this as in input node and this as output node. Surprisingly you can see, so let me just separate both of them on different panes. So let me add a pane. Once I add a pane now you can see this is the input voltage. Surprisingly, you can see input is not a sine wave. The reason behind why, why you are not getting a proper sine wave even though you have applied a sine wave at the input, you can carefully observe. So this is uh, node input and this is node output. 
when you actually uh, place a probe over here actually the measured voltage is always with respect to the ground uh, if you can notice the output voltage is proper what is expected so we are getting uh, the positive half cycle as well as negative half cycle on the uh, above half but the input is not proper it is purely because when you are measuring the input voltage the input voltage should be measured with respect to this minus suppose if you click only here this will be measuring with respect to this ground so this reference point and this ground are totally different so we have to be very careful while seeing the input voltage of a, a bridge rectifier where the reference of uh, the input and the output reference are totally different but in the previous half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier if you can just have a look at uh, both the circuit suppose if you write half wave rectifier see uh, the input was with respect to ground the output was also with respect to the same ground so we didn't had any such problem also have a look at uh, the full wave rectifier in that also we had this input voltage measured with respect to the ground the output voltage was with respect to this ground so both the grounds were same especially for the bridge circuit so we are measuring the input voltage it should be with respect to this reference the output voltage is with respect to this reference so while seeing the input voltage i need to click on this input keep on holding that uh, right click button and then come down here now this is the input now we can go back and see now this red one is uh, between input and the another node so let me just uh, delete this uh, green plot if i delete this green now this is a proper sine wave now you can see we are getting the expected sine wave i can also put this over here now you can see you are getting now i can delete this uh, pane also now we can exactly get uh, the expected waveform you can see during positive half cycle you are getting the waveform during negative half cycle also the output voltage is positive you can observe one thing uh, the output is actually two times less than the vd on so that you can make out so we can just uh, put one cursor on the input now you can see it is 1.4 tools the difference between the input and output is actually uh, two vd on times so that's what was mentioned in your uh, schematic also you can see uh, the schematic was saying the output voltage is less than the input by 2 vd on times so that's what is there in the uh, simulation also so we can just have a look at the simulation also now you can see it is 2 times vd on down okay this way we can able to uh, simulate a bridge rectifier using four diodes only care to be taken while seeing the input voltages the input voltage has to be measured with respect to input and this ground whereas the output you can simply click on this because that will be always with respect to this ground so let us uh, move on to the next topic which is uh, uh, the rectifiers so i can just uh, have a look at this it's a half wave rectifier with c filter so this is a circuit diagram we have a resistor diode and this is your uh, capacitor which is used to filter the ac component in your output of your uh, rectifier signal so this is how uh, the circuit behaves when the input voltage is more than vd on now the diode is not only represented by a switch it is also represented it's not an ideal switch so this switch will also have process some resistance we call rf rf as a forward resistance uh, when the diode is on the current can flow through this uh, resistor and also the current can flow through this capacitor also we are more interested in seeing the uh, output voltage that is which is coming across the capacitor so as the capacitor is charging so it this input voltage has to flow through rf and it should go to this capacitor the charging time constant of this capacitor is now rf into c so that's what is written as tau charge is proportional to rf and c so when the diode is on the capacitor charges through rf uh, the charging time constant tau charge is proportional to rf and c similarly when the uh, input voltage is less than vd on the capacitor uh, the diode is replaced by a resistance rr because it's actually rr not kr so this rr stands for the reverse uh, resistance 
of the diode when the diode is off we know that it will offer uh, resistance in terms of mega ohms the capacitor the charge that is stored in the capacitor certainly chooses a lower resistance path which is r which is certainly less than this rr so the dis capacitor discharges through resistor r so discharge time constant is given by r into c so this will happen when the diode is off so let us see uh, how does this looks like in terms of uh, uh, timing diagram the transient response you can see as the input voltage is less than vd on the output voltage is zero so when the input voltage exceeds vd on diode starts conducting the capacitor started charging since the uh, charging constant is very small it charges almost instantaneously along with the input voltage since it is going up to the peak this peak is now not exactly uh, vp it's actually vp minus vd on so this is uh, this is vp here so this is less by vd on and you can see uh, after this point the capacitor start discharging because uh, here it is turned off when the input voltage reaches the maximum now capacitor is discharging when it is discharging it is uh, through resistor r when it was charging it was through diode you can see it went went up to uh, this voltage and the diode again turns on here now the capacitor is again charging as you can see the capacitor again charges it charges till this point and it is discharging while discharging it is taking longer time because the time constant of uh, this r into c is large compared to the rf into c the ripple voltage is given by the expression the peak of this uh, point which is vp minus vd on and this vp is actually this peak of the input voltage this is actually minus vd on so that's what is the peak divided by frc because we actually derived this expression in the class uh, the ripple voltage is given by uh, vp minus vd on that is uh, the peak of uh, the output voltage uh, divided by the frequency and the rc time constant of this uh, filter and the load resistor now let us see the simulation of uh, same half a rectifier with a uh, capacitor filter we can see we have connected a 100 microfarad capacitor across the resistor so let us uh, run this and then try to see how does the simulation looks like is it now uh this is at t is equal to 0 so this capacitor is charging almost instantaneously along with the input voltage it charges till this point now you can see it is keep discharging it goes till this point and it again starts charging and it is discharging while discharging it is uh, the time constant is uh, the load resistor and the capacitor while charging it is the resistance of the diode and the capacitance uh, value of the capacitor now uh, we will see for different values of uh, capacitance value and try to get a family of uh, uh, capacitor uh, sorry the output waveforms how it looks like so let us uh, do that change now you can see uh, we have uh, replaced the fixed value of capacitance by 100 microfarad to uh, a parameter which is a variable one so this is a uh, within flow bracket we have to put some name that is here we have given it as c v a r that is a variable capacitance and when we, whenever we use uh, this uh, within flower bracket some name so we need to use this uh, dot step param c v a r this is your initial value this is the final value and this is the increment so this has to be written in this uh, dot op command so here we need to write it as dot op this step param c v a r final initial value final value and the increment so this has to be typed over here so that will result in uh, a step variation of this capacitance and let us try to simulate and uh, try to see what is the how does output looks like now we can see we have the output uh, with different uh, lines over here even though the capacitance value is varying from 50 to uh, 300 microfarad in steps of uh, 50 microfarad during charging you can see there is a single plot so there is no much variation in the charging because charging time constant is very very small because it is uh, tau charge is depending on the value of rf and cc sorry uh, the capacitance c uh, you can see the variation only during the discharge time now uh, we are going to have uh, discharge will be large if the capacitance value is least and discharge is uh, the least when the capacitance value is uh, 
more here so this